What's up? Now I'm getting like once again. It's your boy DJ Wax. You know me, Mosi. I'm here with the one and only DJ Mr. Brian Black. <laughs> the one and only. There's oh, no one else like this dude here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, last last time on the last episode, he was uh, doing this thing alone, but I'm back, you know, by popular p- demand. Everybody was like, no, man, we want you in there. We miss you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. And today we've got a special guest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Brian introduce this cat. <laughs> Brian, take over my kid. Hola, so what's up, my dog? Hola, boy. Yeah, man. Our guest today, ladies and gentlemen, hails all the way from the East Rand um, in Johannesburg, South Africa. A uh, pioneer in the DJing industry, he has been uh, at the forefront of uh, the dance culture and uh, he's done so many things for so many great po- people in, 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 in the country in South Africa. And I think internationally as well, man, he's played um, internationally in South Africa, all over the country. Um, a music compiler, a music collector, a lover of music all around. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wax TV. Clive Bean. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Clive. I'm well. Thank you very yeah, much, Brian. Waxy. <laughs> well, <a> boy. <laughs> well, go all good. All yeah, good. Man, all yeah, good. Yeah, thank yeah. you guys for having me here. No, man. So excited. It's, it's like it's, really. We 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 were so <laughs> excited, man, when uh you we knew what we were shooting you, like we were literally just the whole week when we were talking with Dwan. Dwan. Live, not live, not live, not live. We're excited, yeah. man. Because, yeah, we're excited to I hear the story. So you know? I yeah. was so excited. I was so excited. Without not... wasting any time, man, Clevo, um, at, at home, you're known as? Tumelo Mufuke. Tumelo Mufuke. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, live, Vika Malisingam. Claim for shame. Vika Malisingam. Is that a Christian name? Right. Yeah. Right. So, when I was in, uh, I actually started using it in high school. Yeah. You know? I didn't um, know there was Clive in Christianity. Clive. Well, uh, well when I say prophets? Christian name, mm. let, let's call it like, you know how uh, when um, Mtuana Magazalo, way back then, we were forced to have actually English Kamala names. Singa, that yeah. the, it's English names, but they call them Christian names. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, um, so, yeah, Kitumelum Fuken proudly Musuto. Yes. Uh, grandfather from, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, oh. Tabote from the and uh, uh, grandfather from the yeah, yeah. and then grandmother from Tabote. So originally we're from the but I was born this side. Yes. Yeah. So you were born and raised in Fosloras. Yes, sir. A, a, in the East Rand. Yes, uh, so uh, born in Fosloras. I'm not gonna say which year. Yes. Uh, then I'm. I think when I was 1965. <laughs> 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 uh, so when I was like. I I went to go stay with uh, my grandmother at Kwaku. Kwaku. Yeah, okay. so I came to back to Fosteros when I was six, ten, and seven. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, I've, I've been in Fosteros since. Which, er, since. which area yeah. Fosteros is that? Sorry. Which area? Uh, Mabuya Park. Oh, Mabuya. Mabuya Park. Yeah, yeah. Mabuya okay. Park. Yeah. Okay. So I was born, raised, um, like literally, I'm right. full on Fosteros. So let's go back to Tumelo Mufuking. Yes, sir. Not Clive Bean. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tumelo Fu- Mufuking is seven years old. Mm-hmm. A Maboya in, in Fosloras. You come from a musical background. Yeah, so here's a manfak. Right. Manfak. So, we're my plazi. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, and, I mean, I left here when I was young. I think two. Yeah. And I come here, and the first thing I saw was an aeroplane. Right. I freaked out. I, I remember I was with my cousin and I said to her, I've never seen such a big bed. But let's, let's check this out. I'm just chasing the shadow. <laughs> She's like, what happened? What happened? What happened? Hey, what's up? I'm like, what? You know, um, yeah. and like, um, I was really fascinated by coming to the township because, you know, it's almost like going to a suburb. Yeah. But we're my plaza in Uze, you know, because everything is so like that yeah. you know um i mean i was used to carts and horses and here this car so you are from the rural part of Kwa. Sinyamu mm. is like as if put at each other yes. it's like deep 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 in right, the rural, you know right, not right. too far from charles mopedi stadium okay so that's where i grew up um so and then i come this side then the soundtrack it was saturday sunday Chabulani. oh sinyaka sinyaka libo pen up and yeah. 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 and then um 
there was also Harare. There was also Harare was like a hot sticks mambusi. Ha, uh, Harare yeah, was yeah. hot sticks mambusi. Yes, before yeah. you went single. Yes, um, and I'm even still I yeah. mean, that was the soundtrack for me. And uh, opposite na seka abu kwenye nita mna manji usatla the sound pra Paulus. Yes, yes, you know, lie to me, Brook Benton, yes. um, El Clue, yes. and you know, so he's I, playing these on vinyl. On vinyl, yeah. dude. And, you know, so I had a really amalgamated type of like soundscape in um my youth days you know um and then uh and i'm talking like for uh, 85 86 yeah. and then approaching 80 the late nine the late 80s uh we had boma jay williams sweat yeah. uh satoshi tomi with frankie knuckles whistle song boma yeah. tears you know um wow man but were you consciously aware of this music now uh when you were that age i like this kind of sound it was the sound right it was the sound so it was it had nothing to do with you being conscious yes. you know this was what you hear on the streets yeah, yeah, yeah. and walking um, back from school home. but like i mean radio was not doing much for us i right. mean radio pop was i mean i remember 5:40 a.m. Oh, yes sh- yes yes radio pop and you would like stick around and just listen to songs and write them down right. and i mean i used to buy records here in kohino you know yeah and excuse me it was one of those things where by just to write songs down yeah yeah you know how yeah. old are you this i'm you? like now 9 10 right you know what um, you doing you taking t- uh, track list at 9 10 mm. you writing this well i'm sure you got my hot man up on my record in yeah. the tape Okay. So I had to know the tracks that I'm So you're going there you can collect yeah, 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 wow. yeah. I used to buy a tape for like 15 bucks Where? four tracks. Oh. Um Umbuiselo Chalk yeah. used to sell uh, uh the late to DJ, uh, Chalk. DJ Chalk yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. The late uh, 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 DJ Forza uh, I used to buy from Toxin yes. like uh, a, a small it was, yeah. 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 And uh, um I mean this is when I was now studying high school. So it was more of listening to radio and then find to write them down and then look for a DJ who's got those records and so who is some of the DJs from from a first that you were like DJs now I'm talking um the guys that uh, remember I, I was young so when I seen Pincha before sign about DJ chocolate you know um Uvava was DJ Vava yeah so um he I think um when I was in high school he was two grades up and um and much ever okay you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 they used to kill it man remember that track by pressure boys can you forgive her yeah, yeah man yeah. they used to make that track like sing yeah <laughs> the way they danced, you know um so i liked uh, the way he was dancing so i used to follow him around and you know um asking me if I could come to his house yeah. and listen to some music yeah. and I bring my cassettes and stuff, you know, and then I bought my first uh, turntable, I think that was 91 or 92. Then I used to go to his house with my deck. He had one deck, you know, right. and so I could like, bring my deck to the Kosnia, yeah. you know. Uh, so he, he's one guy that I would say was my support, I guess, right. you know, because, um, um, so my hood, Mabuya Park is almost like a new hood, Utala a Zulu section, Mfanum Sut. Okay. So we are not in. Yeah. They used to trap me, those guys, for some time. <laughs> <laughs> Until, <laughs> like, maybe. <laughs> 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 Always <laughs> <violent>. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but like, after some time, they got used to me, Dad, and Tanum Sut, less than the less with DJ and stuff like that, you know. So, I mean, we're talking like, yeah, the late 80s towards 90. You know, and then, like, like 91, 92. High school times was great in terms of music was changing. Yeah. You know, if you remember very well, in 93, 94, we had now pretend kicking ass and we had like the likes of Muchu Swing. Remember yeah, calling yeah. you? Calling you. You know? Yeah. Um, and then um, also mm. uh, Petro Boys, mm. it's UK. Uh, I think ni- mm. like well, 93, 94, 95, 96, yeah. that's when like Europe started making a mark, you know? Right. Um, and yeah. I mean, so that sound spoke to you? Big time, right. big time. I mean, I, I, I loved American house, yeah. but I guess when the Brits and the Europeans started putting their foot in, mm. um, uh, that's where I got like really stuck into that, you know? Right. Because I mean, I, I, but your man that they were great. Uh, uh, I mean, the, 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 the likes of David Morales, Frank Knuckles, yeah. and, you know, but for me, it was the usual house sound. Mm, mm. Yeah. So when Europe came in um, and the UK, 
something changed, yeah. you know? And at the time, that's when, I mean, I was in my teenage years, I'm 16, 17, mm. you know? Um, and that's for me when I started really playing, because mostly it was Ama 21st uh, of my high school. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 Wait, uh, so, so so before before you get to that point, yeah. how do you get introduced to music in a way that you felt, good to look, I need to be like a selector, I need to play music for the people. How did how does that part start? I don't think it was a conscious one. You know, it was almost like a hobby. Yeah. I think I would like to believe that most of us then we were not doing it because of the glamour and 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 fame it holds today. It was mostly for if we were not playing sport, we were collecting music. Mm. Oh, mazana or mm. botani what? You know, mm. it's like I mean, we didn't have much of recreation, especially in the east. You know, yeah. <clears throat> so it was only like ada ujali paola. Or you love music, you know. Uh, and most also, my mom used to have uh, Istok Fela Esra now with her friends. Nice. But he penned you know. So every fortnight, she would go to these parties and she would pu- pu- drag me along. Like, oh, hey, you'd go, you yeah. Know, then yeah. I'd carry her records and play this. Oh, so she'd go with her music? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Man. Listen, man. So your mom had, had vinyls? Whose mom didn't have vinyls? Yeah, but I mean, in most families, you'd find that vinyls were like a family thing. Yeah. It wasn't in Oh, my dad was like not into music. My mom was Kima Chaivan. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, um, so actually, she bought my first record in 92, uh, 10 Cities uh, Suspicion album. Mm. Where suspicion. That, yeah. Suspicion, you I don't trust in me. Yeah. And I don't trust uh, in you. Yeah. The one that has that's the way. La, but right. Suspicion was the first yeah, 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 single. single you know? yeah. yeah, so she bought me that in 92. Nice. My first record was bought by my mom. Nice. Five, you know? Yeah. Um, so she kind of like inspired me a lot because she used to take records uh, like play this side yeah. or, you know, this is a longer wow, version. That's dope, man. You know? Yeah. Um, oh, man. Uh, so by the time I was like like 15, I already knew how to operate the tent table. Yeah. Right? So well, now she well, takes well, you. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a tentable at home, though. Right. right? Not like a TV. It was the one that's uh, matic. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you had to know how to operate it just to move. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know the head yeah, shell, yeah. yeah. needle, and yeah. you got stuck to it because that's how you move. It. Yeah, he still moves it like no, this. No, yeah, he does it like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and you know, let me tell you something, guys. Nothing beats that. You know, nothing beats um, having to do something that you love and yeah. it's a hobby. Right. You know, me I was a bookworm. I'm going to buy some homework, boy. Buy some mixtape, buy some homework, and kundu chani. Like I've been hustling mixtapes and stuff. You know, I did say. Goes to watch your music, right? Yes, I All did say. Go to the ilis is kele. So this is why I'm best kele. Yeah, boy. No, I used to sell mixtapes. Yeah, 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 teenagehood in Foslo, you know, yeah. um, a very, I was quite timid. Um, I mean, my, my, my first girlfriend was in varsity, man. Wow. I started smoking in varsity. I started drinking varsity. Like, you know, I was You're a late bloomer. Late, very late, yeah. you know. Um, but I guess also it's because I always felt like I was behind the guys because of my um, so yeah. you know it, it it really takes a lot. You mm. almost have to impress people, like mm. to show who the Anamin Kone guys. Yeah, you I know? fit in. Mm. Um, but then music was my solace. You right. know? Uh, I started having friends because of music mm. uh, and homeworks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, um, and yeah, um, I remember my first paying gig, 93. They paid me 250. And, um, Were you in high school then? In high school. Right. Yeah, in high school. Uh, the, the rest, only uh, learned that I was a record. So that was not money, like, you know? Yeah. But to be paid. Star, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Hold on. In 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 the time that you were in high school, like you had a sizable amount of uh, record collection. Um, l- let's put it like this. I in certain eight, which is what grade ten. Right. I had already fifty records. Wow. You know. What year is this, bro? Ninety-two. Um, that's ninety-two because I finished my. That's ninety-three. I finished my high school in ninety-five. Yeah. Apart from ten city, what else is in that record collection? Um. You have Joe Manda, oh. you have Lil Louis, yes. uh, Heavy D and the Boys, Jay Williams, Sweat, 
Uh, all the old classics, you know, go you know, record guys, right. yeah, we know, go you know, yeah. rock, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, and like, cause Ben Kelly's like, if it's Saturday school, yeah, yeah, so we need to make school, is, is that, yeah, 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 the arena, right, Gambo, yeah, and Razmataz <laughs> is because of me coming here, yeah, after school, no one, we arena, you walk to Hillbro, Nikale Koino, you think you record, Koino. Best of Connie Shop about the catch a groove. Yes, yeah. yes, the yes, communication catch a groove. Groove. right? Yeah, yes. then what you look and listen. Yes, but we are looking and listening. But it was that guy who used to again. work at Catch a Groove with the big eyes, he moved to the UK. Um, I'll remember his name, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, was it Ricky? I, no, yeah, I can't remember, but anyway, yeah, yeah. So, um, vets, uh, Saturday school, buying records, right? You know, and then clubbing, yeah. I mean, remember, we were doing day clubbing, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. by six. You need to, it's you need over. to be out, yeah. You know? Um, yeah, so you're looking at Saka 90, 93, right. 94. Yeah. You know? Um, so 94, I'm doing my study nine. I'm like really focusing on books, but gigs are plopping, you know. Right. I'll probably do like five to six gigs a year. But are you were, you were, were you gigging mixing? in '94, bro. How? This guy is... What were you? How, were you playing? Were you playing two decks? With... Oh no, it was one deck, mm. tape deck, and a CD player. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you were not Miss mixing no, at such a time. Not really. Listen, the whole thing of mixing, I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you. Most of us coined it probably in the late nineties. Right. I'm a hashit in a Yeah, yeah. From yeah. <laughs> to to <laughs> I've never had anyone proud of no. that. Proudly so, man. Ah, no, so. no. If a DJ comes here yeah. and tells you good in 1992, but Russia, if let mix, yeah. when I'm a flat mix, but who can you? master, yes. Yeah. master, yeah. 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 Yes, you know, our pick ups, pick ups, right. pick ups. You know, so I think I would say my tight mixing. Only started happening in '96 when I went to uh, 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 Valtech. Yeah, you know. Uh, so, so, so wait. When you were going to Arena, are they? Was it were they like apart from the resident DJs? Obviously, Oskido, yeah. the big O back then, right? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Jay-Z, Who was yeah. this guy? B or Jay-Z, 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 Jay-Z D. Jay-Z D. Right. Yeah. Were you running into? Other people maybe that were into like, like they were like you. Man, we were starstruck. We didn't even know who was who. But I'm just saying, like you run into them, it's like, hey, Dan, I know you from Arena. Um, Jersey, Bumshaka, right? Cool. Guys, a lot of guys that were big, Kakwaito in Boma late 90s were jamming Ko Arena. Right. Mostly. They're mostly, yeah. mostly dancing crews. Yes, yeah. you know. Mm. So there's a lot of guys that are only now, you like, yeah. You know, yeah. we used to jam with them. I mean, I, I saw Vini at Arena for Arena. the first time. Yeah, yeah. and I know? believe he was a hip hop DJ then. Yeah, 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 he was playing the earlier sets. But remember, that, Vini Da Vinci. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. He, remember, we were daytime. Yes. So, Uzo Shalama said, maybe from one until three. Yeah, yeah. opening. Yeah. Osko Zongena from three until five yeah. ish, you know. Yeah. yeah. I was like, how that time? Yes. Mama, yeah. I like to move it, move right. it. Right. Yeah. Yes. You know, more and more. Wrong. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Captain Olu. Yeah, yeah like that bam. stuff was dope, man. <laughs> too much, too much. You know, so um, yeah, that's 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 my high school. Uh, In that time, were you already? Was your mind made up that you are going to become a DJ, mm-mm, or were you? Ah, mm. uh, so luckily I get a passery on Sunday nine. Um, <laughs> so thank God, um, and <laughs> and then we come from very disadvantaged yeah. background. So in your story, right? uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, Satola gama pazari, I like you, and God's blessings. Yeah. And um, extraction metallurgy. It was Isco actually who came in at pazari to do Ferrous uh, extraction metallurgy. Go to Valtech uh. and. A whole new world starts. Mm. Mm. Freedom. Mm. Now I've got money. Yeah. Those guys used to give me 1,500. Oh, you were getting Every paid. M- stipend, right? It's stipend. Mm. Why in the milk cart? Sheesh. Basetile, ne resi. Man, I'm a free to no good. Ninja. My in pusha, I'm a I'm a cassette. Yeah, I'm selling mixtapes. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Man, I've, I've been a mixtape fan. Even today, I still. Me, mixtapes are. Because you know, for me, yeah. it's culture. You know, right. that's, that's where we could get to speak what we want to say yeah you know um so then i do mixtapes i used to then that's when i started buying a lot of records i think when i went to val i had probably like 90 mm. you know mm. this is 96 yeah i bet you man by 90 the end of 97 i probably had 600 records sheesh <laughs> I used to where were buy. you buying your records house africa um 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We house, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Is gate. Figure value on nine. But Mama kept walking. But no figure. Who Did you have ten tables in your room? Yes, I took my ten tables to rest. Also, you had already bought a set. When you went to I had a chick and a pioneer. Wanda, Wanda. Oh, yeah, yeah. My chick was a direct build and a pioneer. But we Mbuso, so this is where I meet Mbuso. Right. I used to go a lot to his mother's house, a Beverly Hills mother. Smoking. Smoking? No. There's a Beverly Hills. It's because Mbuso has been living in Beverly Hills. Yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. It's not way. Yeah. You know, so I meet Mbuso at the radio station there, Tritech, who was working. There. So the first thing I did when I went to Bar City was to look for a radio station. Okay. And that's why I met Mbuso and I started working there. I used to make tea, coffee, clean up for them until yeah. they gave me a slot. Nice. And then, you know, went up the uh, the hierarchy like that. Uh, so I met Mbuso and then we become buddies and partners in playing. You right. know, I bring my records. He's got his. I normally go to his house to practice, practice. how to mix. Yes. You know, I would say actually, if there's one guy who fine tuned me, it's Mbuso. Okay. You know, yeah. Like just to understand the techniques of a belt. Right. You know, a belt tent, uh, a belt drive. Yeah. Pushing it. Hey, but those belt drives were. Uh, as over. Anyway, but I think hard, it, it bro. was the best way to learn how to yeah. mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it was the best way. It's like teaching someone how to drive and using stick and uh, uh, versus. You Manual, yes. Man, we look for this automatic. Right. You don't know how to drive. Yeah. You know that's basically. Yeah. It. But those belt yeah. drives basically never stayed on peach, bro. But look at how you they'll turned stick out. on it and then they'll get out. Look yeah. at how you turned out <laughs> yeah. now. You you don't play horse dog. You know. Yeah. When I say it was a new world, everything started changing. I started getting good money. Yeah. Um, we uh, me and Busa used to play in a tavern in Zone Ten Extension One called Willie's Inn. Right. Facebook in. Ghost booking. Wow. Thursdays and Fridays. These guys used to pay us seven fifty, man. Sheesh, yeah. Do you know DJs Back don't then. get? Do you know DJs don't get that even today? <laughs> That's okay. Shit, lots of DJs they don't get seven fifty. Well, listen. I mean, at the time we probably in 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 in, in, in my station we probably had like. 10 DJs. I mean, that's why I met Natty Nice. Right. Because uh, he, he's from the... Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. Bar, right? Same, Shout out to Natty Nice. Yeah. Shout out to Natty. Natty Mbelu, McFallen Muleli, yes. Lira, right. um, Anton, yeah. wow. Uh, um, you know, those were golden years. I, I mean, David Klaale. Oh, wow. You know. Yeah. Um, so Val was quite cool at the time. Uh, and the support that those guys gave me was absolutely amazing. Because I was fairly young, yeah, you know. Yeah, And um, I mean, you can see my frame. I look quite young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I had such an amazing <laughs> experience with um, being exposed to playing for big crowds. Yeah. You know, um, and these tri-varsity gigs. I mean, coming to Vets, going to... UPE, yeah, Kwango, yeah, Richest Bay. I mean, so you were getting those bookings then, yeah, right? man. Wow. Yeah, man, I would bus straight to Richest Bay, like freaking 15 hour ride type vibes, hmm. man. You know, pot chips, thin, you know, um, uh, uh, Deben Westville, you know, like for me, varsity, because remember, varsity was where the jam was happening. Yeah. I'm a bash, I'm a, I'm a kumba, you know, so I'm a kumba, kumba you know, fires the stuff, yeah. yeah. But was this not affecting your, your studies now because you're busy with, you're um, kicking? My first year was great. My second year was a bit of a problem. I dropped the subject. Huh. But... Whole nerd. Whole nerd, Lempi. But listen, um, I had to pass, man, because... Yeah. That was so, not my mother's yeah. money. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and, and number two, you're a really smart dude anyway. Mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> consider <laughs> <laughs> Um. So yeah, I mean, um, my varsity years. That's when I started expanding into uh, South Africa. Yeah. So wait, you know, I, I'm not. I don't kid you, man. The first time going to Soweto was in 1996. The end of 96. That was the first time you yeah, went to Soweto. When I met Abu Claude, Mbuso just from yeah, BFR. BFR, yeah. Which is gonna be my next question, right? Yes. I know you are. 
were you a part of BFR? Because that's when I started getting a, a whiff of... Define what's a part of BFR. Were you a member? Because BFR was made up of certain individuals. No, right? I was not. Right. I was not a member. Break it down to us. Right? Um, listen, Mbuso was forming a crew as a Val. Yeah. Yes, so it, 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 it. He did explain it, yeah. Yeah. It. So I was not living in Soweto. Mm. Mm. I was in. Uh, so we were a tag team. Mm. We we were partners. Yeah. Uh, he it. was not my boss. Yeah. Uh, He's your boy. Yeah. No, I was his boy because I was young. Right. Uh, people yeah. used to think I'm his young boy or uh, his yeah. protege and stuff. For Fiji, it was cool because, like, really, he opened doors for me. Yeah. So. When I go to Soweto, I remember this is the first time. Remember, this is 1996. First time I just left home. I'm young and calm, the whole 96. Yeah. We say Soweto on a Seval. And December. I remember. 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 I Mbuso, Tumi, those six. Right. So me, I was, that was an, before China. Yeah, there was. I think that ninety six was, was before that, China. I think China came through a little bit right? late ninety seven yeah. because when Kalang in Borna as a Mbuso, who put to China, um, from Utem, 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 he, he came in a little bit later, yeah. you know, uh, and uh, this is my view because remember, I don't live in Soweto, right. so this is just me observation, Obs yeah. too, you know. Um, so that was that seven member crew. I was an idler, right? You know, and mm. I mean, um, you know, I would say being from first of like the east was all almost overshadowed, mm. you know, because a lot of people used to think I'm from Soweto, and I used to dispel that. Mm. No, I ain't from Soweto and mm. stuff like that, you know. Um, so the 96, first time I go to Soweto, I start playing around a meatball, the late Funky Lemon, right. Tramo. Rest in peace, ah, Tramo. Yeah. 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 SOS, yeah. you yeah. Shout know, uh, Abu Tepo, you know, and Mbuso used to, like, literally, like, connect me through, you know, uh, all his connects, yeah. more properly, yes, you know. Yes. Um, so that's 96, 97, 98, so it's all Val, so we had to tap up, you know, because right, right. I used to roll with BFR yeah, crew yeah, a, lot, a lot, you know, yeah. and like, man, we used to play with those guys, but my Bethlehem, I yeah. remember. And they loved Bethlehem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's keep it Bethlehem. He, he still <laughs> loves Bethlehem even now, this one, yeah. <laughs> so, um, it was one of those, for me, guys, it was such an exploration, you know, uh, this hobby takes me out there, and it pays me, mm. you know. Mm. So how are you explaining this at home now? That Hambila why you found now? I'm Kulumnix. Okay. Yeah, I'm Kulumnix. Me already in the Linux, but I'm figuring in the last language too. Okay. But don't tell who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but she knew I was DJing. Yeah. Um, but, but she, she still has the thing with her. The magnitude right. and how uh, actually. Um, big, I've uh, I've gone. I yeah. mean, Valtech really was a launch pad for me. Right. You know, Klalama Festival. Hence, I'm saying paying for big crowds. I'm right. Talking like two thousand to almost like ten thousand type wow. vibe. You know, um, that's massive, bro. Massive. That was ma yeah, danga. All into the match. Tina, eh? Eh, book Yeah. You know, um, and so it kind of exposed me into uh this uh bigger scale of a game. Oh. And 97, when YFM started in October, mm. it also kind of like blew everything out of proportion. Oh. Like Kwaito was now, you could hear it on radio, oh. you know, oh. uh, hip hop, oh. you know. So all the stuff that was almost underground, underground. went oh. overground. Yeah. Mm. So that, for me, uh, if if we talk about celebrity, I say celebrity only started after 97. Oh. Mm. Wow. So Clivo, uh, in, 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 this, in this whole time, right, um, you are gigging now. What's happening to the bursary? Are you continuing? Are you? D did you graduate? Uh, I said, my, 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 my second, uh, my, 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 my second year drop a subject. Okay. You know, but remember we're doing semesters. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so this is like uh, you always told us I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Mm. You know. Um. So my third year becomes a problem because melancholy. Yeah. You know, and then the bursary dropped me. Oh man. So I had to pay 
my last year, thank God for gigs, yeah. you know. Uh, but they dropped me because I've switched courses. So I'm supposed oh. to do ferrous, ferrous, which is iron. So I'm doing non-ferrous, okay. which is precious metals, you okay. know, over platinum, over my gold, yeah. and diamond, and so forth, mineral processing on that, you know. Uh, so I never went for my graduation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so I go to Rustenburg in '99 to do my practicals at Amplatz. All right, I uh, finish my practicals instead of the land is Steve Kate. Mm. Mina, Mina, so, mm. so mm. is Steve Kate uh, still at uh, Valtech? Uh, whatever, however. it's still there, yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're so a graduate, but just not never a graduate. had a need for it, right? I just wanted to get to varsity, you know. And I never saw myself as if if he a car of animal, many shy sound engineering. Right. I'm told. Yeah. You know? Um, but obviously because we may be a coin, there were no funders and yeah, sponsors yeah, for yeah. sound engineering yeah. at the time. So I deep down I knew what this this is uh not why I wanna do. Especially when I did my practicals, you know, because mm. mining is well at the point at that time was quite a very African uh, dominated uh, industry, industry. Oh, and they were not yeah. giving oh. us uh, uh, fair play in those mm. cases, you know. And well, turning down as we are technical, I'm a technician, so come here, what was the experience, you know, like, so yeah. it was, you know, it was that. However, I'm not going to take away the fact that I learned a lot through that, yeah. and um, I'm here because of that. That's you know? nice one, yeah. Uh, so then, that's 2000. Musa was working at a shop called Sugar Trash. Sugar Trash. You know? Uh, so I used to buy my records there a lot and, and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> a guy called Troy, Lily. Shout out to Troy, Lily. Yeah, yeah. Troy, Troy, Troy yeah. Troy he, he's the one who got me to Sugar Trash. Nice. Cause, yeah, because U- U- Troy used to not like working on Saturdays. Okay. You know? So he would like ask me to oh, come wow, cover for okay. him. You know, so I'll come in to yeah. like a little bit of your yeah, books and mm. orders and stuff like that. So that's how I get now. Um, into the record shops, right. you know, mm, okay. um, and then as you know, um, sugar tracks becomes so, so candy, candy yeah. you know. I think that was 2000, yeah, you know. Um, so at that point, Mina uh, Mimi Kasari's head hunts me, you know. Shout out to Mimi Kasari, Me, shout out to Mimi K, you know. So he's opening a shop, like Renberg, a Piazza Mall. Mm. Investment cars, remember? yes, 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 yes. yes. I remember yeah. that. Final addiction, yeah. uh, final addiction. Yeah. So, wow. I'm supposed to go to Soul Candy, like, yeah, I mean, I yeah. live and final addiction. Was it already Soul Candy or it was still? No, 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 it, 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 it was Soul Candy, but it was not registered yet. Oh, know? so the transition was it still was happening. on transition, All right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm not going to must be a petram and not a petram, say, Colette, Colette, Melrose, Colette, yes. Must be a male rose, my male see a my male in a match is a rose bank in a rainbow. Yeah, so that's why I met uh, the late Black Jackson. Oh, yes, uh, you know, uh, uh, rest in peace, rest in peace. Yeah, Brett. so 2000 to 2001, I remember uh, 9 11, right? Yeah, I remember it, I was watching it. Right? Yeah, it yeah. Crazy. Killed us because the records just went up. I mean, records were like almost like 70 bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised so almost doubled, right? 70 yeah. Bucks, yeah. Yeah. Um, so now, um, what happens is, um, Vinyl addiction is doing well, um, and uh, the sales are good. And like, I mean, if you think about the fact that we had House Africa, mm. we had Soul Candy, you know, Vinyl addiction kind of like came in um, as an interrupter. Yeah, you know, because you know? um, there's always been other shops that we didn't know of. Remember Terence used to work in a shop called Rhythm? Uh, yeah. uh, 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 in, in, in the in the West Rand. Yeah. Right? yeah. But Horizon nobody View, right? Horizon View, you yeah. remember? Yeah, 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 I used to buy my yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. but like those were stores that we didn't know of. Yeah. You know? So vinyl addiction was almost that. So they they always needed a token black. Right, right. So <laughs> <I was there. laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Did you work with uh, Kid Funk at Vinyl Addiction? Mm-mm. You never ever, it was uh, Craig Shackert. Oh, that's the that's the that's okay. Craig Shackert. Ah, right. Yeah. So it okay. was Brett Jackson and Craig. So right. the shop used to sell progressive house, yes. hard house, yes. psychedelic yes. trance, trance. Is that where your passion for 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 tech. the techy uh, yes. sound started, yes. right? So tech, like tech minimal. Yeah. Yeah. That I got um, my um, uh, what's this juice. Right. You know that's where it kind of like, you know, uh, Brett. Yeah. Um, Big tech fan, yeah, you know? and also remember, I the shop was predominantly 
hard house. Yeah. Mm. And you know, so I had to like try get deep mm. tech, and mm. it's very so, difficult. so you can get a black market as yeah, well. Yeah, and it's difficult because we didn't have like American distributors. Yeah, you know, mm. you know, so the black market was quite heavy, you know, to get, you know, but we had the French. Right. You know, there was a track that came out. Um, was a matuta. Come uh, on, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, that yeah. came from us. So now we're moving from uh, that record shop to Final Addiction, fi- Final Addiction to Soul King. To Soul King. yeah, man. Yeah, Harrell comes then, Bulldoze, and <laughs> Taxi. Yeah. Taxi. Yeah. Taxi. Yeah. Like, this yeah, is my part, mm. you know. Uh, so, um, this is 2001. Remember 2003, we do Soul King Sessions One, yes, man, we're kicking ass. Mm. Badly. Oh, so it was only two years later. Two years when I get there. I mean, I mean, I, you know, it's so weird how I, I remember even like the influx of music, you mm, know. Mm. And um, at the time, there's a few compilations that came out that are mixed. Yeah. You know. Um, and remember, we like the new kids on the block. They yes. used to call us spoiled brats. <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah. we're young. I yeah, mean, they used to call us spoiled brats. The bread. oldest mm. guy in Soul Kent was Mbuso. Yeah. You know, so it was Mbuso. Me, Harrell, yeah, uh, 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 Claude, Claude. Mm. you know, that was us, you know, um, and I mean, there were other guys that came through later, mm. but I mean, I just remember it from the start. You right. Know? Um, so, yeah, that's 2001, two-ish, uh, 2003, so Candy Session 1 comes out. It's, wow, man, stamp your feet. Mm. Harrison Crumb, oh, Gerard, and like, you know, the whole now local production. Yes. You know? I mean, there's a couple of tricks that were local. Then. So it's safe to say that uh, Soul Candy is one of the pioneers when it comes to local production. It That's a music. safe assumption. Assumption to make. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't like carrying such because, I mean, you know, um, S- 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 St. John's yes. in St. Pretoria. Jones. Oh, yeah. Shout yeah. Out to they were also uh, doing things at the same time. Jones, yeah. It's just that, remember, Jobek has exposure and your proximity to YFM at the time mm. was monumental. Yeah. You would make. Dude, we I used to play Remember Kamakazi Heat and Kamakazi Yeah, so Heat. for you guys it was you a revolving door, right? Yeah. yeah. I take new records. Hmm. The ones that just came out, I play the shit on air, man. You could, yeah. You know, motherfuckers go monkey shit Ooh. and you come by. Mm. That's you know. So we we had that advantage. Mm. You know, thank God YFA moved from bed drums to just a, a just stone as throws we away. Just, yeah. like, we were like what, four, four, three years there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When yeah. they came that side, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so Candy Sessions comes out, and everybody's releasing CDs. I remember <laughs> Harrell was used to ask me, like, don't you want to do anything? Uh, I was like, not really phased um, until Defected came along. Right. So, Harrell comes through, he's like, yo, man, Simon Dalmo wants to do the first African Defected release, and you keen. But they knew because I like my heart stuff. Right. So, right. Defected, remember, used to Yes, do yes, copy. yes. Shout out to Defected Records. Yeah, man. and yeah. for me, that was, yeah. Yeah. I'll get to do the first international CD by Defected in Africa. That I was your I first, com- it. That was your first compilation. first compilation in right. 2006. Yes. What was it called? Defected? Defected, uh, Defected Downtown Grooves. Re- volume 1. No, Defected Downtown Grooves. Right. Not in a volume. Right. Just that. You know, so that's 2006. Um, so, you, so you, ba- you basically played... Everything defected. It was all defected. Yeah, and I got to choose everything I wanted. From their catalog? Yeah. Wow. Cross wow. territory, man. Wow. I was like going crazy. There's a track by DJ Inks. I think it's number 11. That was like some territory. I said, Japan. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, no, no. You, you said defected. I'll pick anything and everything. Man, I killed it. Uh, strings of... Uh, uh, so da, 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 yes, yes. Da, yes. Da, da, da. You should listen to the edit I had, man. <laughs> with strings for like a minute and a half wow. you know uh yeah so that was that 2006 <laughs> gigs start happening and everything is great and everything is fine and this celebrity status crap that doesn't make any sense to me you know but it's cool because i'm still playing my music yeah um and then i did the next one uh you know it's so candy at that time man it's really like I mean, there's Terrence Music Box, mm. there's Stereo Candy by Claude, mm. there's like literally anything and everything that is a footprint today, mm. Inception Day. Right. You know? And it's cool because for me, these are peers, you know? And we changing the, par- 
the, it's a paradigm shift. Yeah. You know? The process of, of, of putting a compilation together, was it based on sales uh, behind the counter? Or was it just purely based on, I think this song is great, I'm, I'm going to put it on my compilation? You know, Harrell, Harrell, big ups. Harrell was smart. Mm. What he used to do is every Friday for our meetings, Yeah. I mean, our a and meetings were everywhere. Yeah. So yeah. this whole thing, you know, and and all, <laughs> yes, everybody yes. used to come. Everyone is there, bring the right? tracks that yes. day, you know, yeah. they like. So during the week, Monday, from Monday to Thursday, we have a box where we put in the tracks. Mm. Like, Dropbox that part. Right. Yeah, we, 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 we Just for stuff. We put, you know, so remember what happens is we get samples and promos. Yeah. But at this point now, everything is digital. Right, right. right. So you can send an, another one track you like. Yeah. I don't really feel. Yes. Maybe, yeah. Mm. So you get. I mean, I remember the arguments yeah. we have about music. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so before you can even get to license tracks, they've been debated. Hmm. You know, um, so that's what I liked about um, Soul Candy's. Uh, um, Effortless A and R, right? You know, because it was what we did. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and then, if we think this is 10, tr 20 tracks that Brian would associate to, that's your 20 that's tracks. Your, yeah, yeah. You they, get they to goes your compilation, yeah. And then you decide which ones you wanna take, and then that's when we license. Hmm. You know, um, so with my ones, the first and the second was I was independently doing on my own. You know, so. Where I you can see there's arrogance or not, but it was cool because there were label deals. Yeah. So I didn't need anyone. All I just needed was a catalog. I'm yeah, I just go through the catalog. And then I did King Street, remember? Yeah, mixed King Street. Oh, man. With, yes. with yeah. uh, um, Teddy Duckworth. And also, same. You did know? you ever get to meet him? No, actually. Oh. <laughs> no. And like, I mean, I was in the US for so long, but America is huge. I yeah. mean, you could be like in the West Coast and someone's in the East Coast and it's like here to Nairobi. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, so it's, um, <laughs> but I, I, I never went to, because um, they're in Baltimore, so yeah. I never got to, uh, to go to Baltimore. Uh, Your first <laughs> international gig? Jeez, which one was it? <laughs> Do you recall? Um... Wait, give me a second. That's sure. International. Oh, that was Berlin. Yes. Berlin. Yes. Was Germany. Berlin. Yes. I, I what year? Berlin what year is this? Uh, two thousand and eight. How mm. did that come about? <laughs> so, uh, MySpace. 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 Wow. Mm. Hey, so what happens? <laughs> in my space, bro. We just heard about it. Yeah, that is in there, bro. Yeah, you guys are doing. Uh, you got doing SoundCloud. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, 2000. So, okay, so this is what happens, right? I've got a friend of mine who's a film uh, maker. Right. And the cameraman, uh, uh, Frank, normally when he comes to South Africa, he books a hotel. But yeah. like, I'm so into this guy. We're like so cool buddies. Yeah. So I started to look like, Come on, stay at my place. Yeah. You know, fucking sleep on the fucking lounge. Couch or whatever, yeah. You know? You're home. So Frank starts staying at my place but most times when he's in South Africa, okay. you know, shooting. And then he invites me hmm. to Berlin. He's like, no, come through. I'll house you. Hmm. You just fly yourself. Hmm. Um, I'll house you. So food. Hmm. And Your home, find you'll be gigs. Home. Wow. Hmm. So, okay, sharp. So, but it's planned ahead, right? Right. So, in the meantime, as I'm missing the money for the ticket, hmm. uh, like fucking, I flew uh, Air Egypt, man. Fucking cheap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you're connecting... Uh, yeah, yeah, from yeah, Egypt yeah. to Germany. Yeah, man. Remember, uh, uh, some airlines in Africa fly close to you. Uh, uh, airline, um, countries that are close to Europe mm. fly uh, like uh, 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 Egypt airline. Egypt. Uh, Turkey, yeah, 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 right. You know, uh, 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 um, uh, the Kenyan. You know, um, so you can connect like that. So that's also uh, what I learned about buying tickets. Yeah, you know. If I want to buy a ticket to Berlin, I don't go to SAA. I'll go to Kenya. Because SAA mm. takes you to and Dubai, check. right? Yeah, but they are expensive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so uh, Frank uh, hooks me up with accommodation, and before that, uh, hook up the ticket. So, with accommodation and visas, remember someone who's that side needs to write you a letter. Go, I'm gonna house this guy, yes. and I'm gonna feed him. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. Europeans don't want mm. your mm. broke ass there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so I'm and at that time, I send clubs my mixes on MySpace. Um, I can't, what was that club? 
damn, I can't remember. I actually met Ali uh, Dixon. Yes, yes. Uh, he was the resident. Right. Not Watergate, but I went to Watergate. I mean, so anyway, um, so I get um, a like in terms of like, yeah, we will think about it. Let us know when you're in Germany. Okay. Okay, so I buy my ticket, send them my itinerary. Oh, sure, I went down to book. I think they came in something like 350 euros. Wow. You know, that was my first one. Then I went to Hamburg. They also hooked up Hamburg, the same nice. guys. So I was in Germany for like three months. So I did Hamburg, yeah. Stuttgart, oh. and, and Berlin. That was my first international. Right. right. Nice. Um, so that's what I like about Harrell. He used to give me this sabbatical. Yeah. So since I was they like, leave work. Go gig, yeah. Money. Go okay, gig, yeah. So the longest was the US. I was there for like 18 months. Dude. How did that come about? Crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's finish my first trip. So my first trip international, that's um, in, in Berlin. Uh, so while in Berlin, are you making connections via getting music to that site so that you can then um, sell this site? We already had distributors. You see, that's the cool thing also, because I went, uh, during the day, I would go to record shops oh. and distributors that I knew. Oh, you know? okay. Um, and it's like a meet and greet uh, now. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And remember, like, we, we, uh, the we were not having Facebooks and stuff. No. Mm. So you had to send an email. Yes. Or, and uh, uh, cell phones are, are not cheap that side. Yeah. Right, <laughs> we're right. We're making a call with your South African now. So man, the pen phone and stuff like that. But like, it was easier to connect with guys from Cyber, um, guys that used to supply us with, with records, Reg, yes. uh, Ame. So Ame, uh, yes. You know, like when, uh, when I say Reg, I, I remember the record because that's, uh, that's, that's all we knew about Ame. Artwork, Reg. man. Yeah, mm. you know. Um, yeah, so that was Berlin. Uh, that was my first trip. Um, and America, also, coincidence, having friends. Yeah. Antonio Lyons. Oh, shout out oh. to Antonio Lyons, okay. man. Yeah, right? yeah. So the first time I meet Antonio Lyons is in Tramezini Cafe, right? Here in Rosebank, right? Oh, in Rosebank, yes, yes. yes. Well, now they've got, what is it, KFC or whatever. They yes. Have. So this guy, I used to play Thursdays. He's a dancer. He's dancing like mm. crazy. Sublime times, you know? And these guys follow me around. So I'd like finish playing there, then maybe you know, let's apply. Sublime, and yeah. I see them. Yeah. So I start like, you know, um, getting acquainted with Antonio and there was different way of dancing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 New York can start dancers. Like Americans, <laughs> you know, hey, <laughs> hey, right. yeah. And so that's how I you know Antonio. This was like 2006, yeah. Seven. So. Nah, the same coincidence. Nini is this side yeah. for like six months. He needs maybe a place to stay for two months. Then stay in my place. It's the same. Wow, Come man. To New York, stay in my place. Mm. Book a ticket, but Antonio is like, such a dope guy, man. Too such dope. a nice too guy. Yeah. Cool for school. Right. Too, uh, too cool for Shout school. Shout out to Antonio Lyons. Yes, man. love, yeah. love, love, respect. And so that's my New York. Uh, two thousand. So you gig, you gigged in New York. Like wow. a, a, a lot. Salvin House. Wow. Shit. Yeah, man. Like fucking. Meet, meet, you meet Black Coffee, he's playing tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Hey, Natty. And looks at me, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm playing the Salvin House. What? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm playing tomorrow. Okay, okay. So you were playing at the same places that Coffee was playing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But, but, but this is early. You're talking 2010. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, big ups to Natty, man. Like, People are like, oh, Nati's making five million. Like, guys, big ups to Nati. He put in the work, he right? He was working. Ian Friday, you know yeah. Ian Friday? Yes, Ian Friday, yes. He yes. was punting black coffee like crazy. Yeah. You know? Um, and he's here because he was there. Right. Yeah. Putting in the work. Yeah, True. so uh, let's, like, chill. Yeah, let's chill. yeah. You know? Mm. And let's he is in the right Let's space, be happy that like, this is the guy who, to he worked there. for it. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's not like yeah. it's no. a political it's alliance. It's it's easy to get yeah. Way in, yeah. Right? yeah, so um yeah, I mean So 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 Clivo, you've done Europe, you've done the US. Yeah, yeah. Oh, UK. You know what? We don't have enough time. <laughs> I, I just need to basically the two major differences between the two uh, uh in terms of nightlife. Okay, well uh, um Europe is the Disneyland of dance. Right. America, it's a submersion of dance. It's been underground. Okay. It's been underground. Right. Dance music in America. Yeah. Not on radio, whatever. In Europe, they took it and they made it mainstream. They right. made underground 
mainstream. Over crowd. Now they are coming to Super Clubs. Yeah. Then I go to New York again in 2010 late. Yeah. And I'm I'm going to, um, it's weird, Brian. So I'm working a, a, as an, as an associate producer for a film. Okay. Okay. And um, so an associate producer in terms of which locations to get, blah, blah, oh, blah, 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 you know? Okay. I, I don't, nothing about film. Right. But I end up in this place. So the movie gets se selected for focus features in New York. Okay. Then they take the crew. I mean, I'm in court. <laughs> So you have to go, yeah. Now so you're going, going there, yeah, you yeah. Know? And then I, I, I play the after party there. But now you're going there as the producer of the. As an associate, right? Uh, Obama was very nice to us. He yeah. gave us a lot of opportunity, uh, uh, you know, like like crazy. As Africans, yeah. yeah. And so it's a it's a fellowship in uh, a theater in Oregon, uh, 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 Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Yes. The longest running theater in America is probably eighty five years. Right. To Ninety running. Now. Sure. Um, so they give you this form, right? Uh, where do you see yourself in the world of theater? So, but I'm doing it under sound design. Okay. Because mm -hmm. remember, okay. theater is scenic. Yes, yes. It's actors, mm. script writers. Yeah. Yeah. Sharp. I, I'm a Palanga. I actually take the form. I, I come with the form here in South Africa. It's so huge. Yeah. Fill it in, fill it in. Post it. 2012 March. They reply. Yeah. Who was that? You've been accepted. Eight months program. Um eight months. Crazy. Damn. Okay. Wow. Sharp. Harel Harel. Harel is excited. Go, 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 Tlibo, go. Oh my goodness. You oh know? man, Harel, man. So I go. A best 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 experience of my life, guys. Mm. Best, 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 best. I learned so much. Like in terms of development, you're in, in, in Oregon, eh? in Oregon. Yeah. So, so I'm working. Uh, it's a fellowship. So you know, f fellowship is scholars right. who are taking. Like, let's say you are an engineer, they'll take you on a fellowship for a year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. So I'm joining that, and like, I, I don't have any theatre degree or any uh, knowledge of yeah, theatre, yeah. but I mean, I, I do have knowledge of sound. Of sound. You know, yeah. so I get taught sound design, theatre sound design, mm. editing. Mm. But luckily. With Soul Candy, I've been stuffing around the software. Yes, now, yes, oh, yeah. These guys, they fucking take you to a point where Ukatri speaker, call yeah. out, wiring, like Masile. You don't have to take this, <laughs> I'm told. <laughs> so you don't take anything to repair. Yeah, so like, that's for first three months. So I'm there for eight months. So I worked on amazing shows, man. Eight shows. Um, so, because remember the theater is seasonal. So you get, like, let's, let's say your first... Uh, six months, yeah. you're running like six shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, this place has three theaters. Mm. The biggest theater takes 3,500. Okay. Okay. The smallest takes 1,008. I worked in all three. The biggest one, Tanga, is 128. Shit. <laughs> I must have 564. Sure. <laughs> it's an array. I did parties in, in, in Ashland. This guy's a nerd. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great, you know. Oregon is the north the north part of America, West Coast, just before you get into Canada. Canada, so right. Yeah, so Portland is the so capital. After yeah. New York, right? Oh, Over New York the is in the yeah. west, it's okay. in the east. So this after LA, we are Lepezu. Oh, okay, um, all yeah, right, okay. That, okay. You know? um, so it's hippies. Right. You know? And then... And you at home then. Yeah, he was at home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Ah, mm. oh, shit. And then um, we have um, Hispanics who are like, uh, living in my projects or in my cast. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were taking uh, theater there. Okay. So like issues like uh, drug abuse, mm. uh, AIDS, you know. So we take Romeo and Juliet and translate it in Spanish and make it like suit a certain scene or okay, a okay. scenario, maybe let's say hmm. yeah, rape or maybe uh, yeah, yeah, abuse of drugs. Mm. Any, you know, any of Shakespeare's plays. Right. You know, so we take it sure. into English, this guy, bro. in Spanish, That's and then great. me and La Petraki in the sound, like, dude, we used to even do audio books for this shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yo. You know, so I had so much fun and understanding of um, development, empowerment, and 
upskilling mm. Mm. you know of societies communities um micro economizing internet working you know mm. um you, you don't want to sell in cape town if you go you don't sell in your street man mm. that's just far fetched mm. Mm. you know so i i learned that you know like that was a different view of america and that's when i understood how different the east coast is to the west coast to the west. Yeah. you know um yeah so then i come back here 2013 late and um, back to Soul Candy, they oh. just sold the uh, course to Boston. And yeah, yeah. Now I got a job now because I was teaching when I left. Yeah. Uh, DJ. Yeah, at the DJ school, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So when I come back, I'm still there, and now there's music business. I've always been into music business, copyright, authorship, yes, uh, publishing, distribution. Yeah. That's where the money is. Yes. You know? Um, and I don't care who says what. Oh. Um, and so I invested my time in that, interrogated it from cases and when copyright started in what was copyright, you know, yeah. what are sheets, what, mm. how did it start and, and um, what is ownership, what is authorship um, mm. and what is copyright. Right. Yeah, yeah that shit. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want you to talk about that. Mm. Um, so music business was for me the cornerstone of me teaching. Like DJ is great. It's, it's a skill. Mm. But music business, it's a tool. Mm. That's not a skill. Mm. That is a tool. Huh. And yeah, so that's my vocation. So um, um, so I come back DJing uh, 101. I, I created 102. Mm. And, um, and then I was part of big um, impact in writing of, of music business. Ryan Megatroid is great. Mm. Um, and you know, um, so yeah, uh, so there I am, Boston City Campus. Carlton Center. Mm. I'm still DJing, guys, mm, but mm. like, this is just another ripple. Yeah, you know, mm. and um, um, you know, every time I, I'm on social media and I'll see my ex students on big flyers, mm. and I like my DJ car. There's a certain level of pride. I mean, I go, I go yeah, for you. Yeah, eh? yeah. I go for you. Yeah. you post something, I, 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 I I'll go tell yeah. you like this one. Yeah. Bigger. Good for you. Know? you. And most of the guys I'll tell them, like, they say sky is the limit. I'm like, there's no limit. Yeah. There's no limit. If you think there's a sky, right. then you know there's a limit. <laughs> there's there's, no, yeah. sky. there's no, no sky. sky. There's no <laughs> sky. <laughs> right. We are living in a multi universe. Oh, mm. yeah. So, what box are you talking about? Oh, I mean, you're doing great. You know, you, you've, you're, you're teaching these guys, you're, you're skilling them, right? To yes, become sir. DJs. Mm. Why did you leave Boston Media House? Um, okay. Without getting into. Um, we don't want the politics. The politics. It was very political. Okay. I'm, I'm quite a Black Panther, you know me. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm a problem with authority. I've got a problem <laughs> with authority. You remember what you used to call yourself <laughs> at the shop? You used to call yourself the Black Sheep of the... <laughs> Anyway, story for another day. <laughs> I was the Black Sheep. I was the Black Sheep. But it's cool. Hmm. Mm. I was a thorn, man. Mm. Are you a know? Pan-Africanist, um, dog? I'm an Africanist. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. When you say Pan Africanist, you are talking global. Yeah. Right now we are in Africa, so you're so an you are just an Africanist. Yeah. Why, what are you penning? You are here. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. When you are in America, mm. you can be a Pan African. Pan African. All right. So yeah. yeah, but I mean, you've traveled the world. Yeah, yeah. But so I'm an Africanist. But you are right. I'm a Pan Africanist. I'm all for Africa. And and there was COVID, and it, it's, yeah. it's very deep. Right. You know? Right. Uh, and for me, it was painful, but it it was a good exit. Okay. Mm. You know. Um. Because I've always wanted to do my own thing. Mm. And when I say my own thing, I don't mean my own thing. I mean my thing for the people. Yeah. Mm. You know? Uh, I was telling you earlier, I go to, if I saw it to Vinny yes. Funda said, if I sang as Kiss Yeah. Mm. You know? So I got a dream. I, um, I got a dream about like, this place, which is like a aftercare recreational center, musically inclined. Hold that thought, right? Should We're going to talk about that. <laughs> I want to take you. Yeah. Five steps back, or maybe ten steps back. Yes, sir. Home cooking exclusive. Oh my goodness, we forgot <laughs> about that. Yeah. That was the that was that was, that was the thing, yeah. right? I still have I still have some the of those. CDs. So so I want yeah. I want I want I I, I have <laughs> beef, right? And I want it out there. Don't have beef with me, please. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was never cool enough to be a DJ on home ex or home cooking exclusive, and that hurt my feelings. But I understood. No no no. Probably not nerdy enough. Yeah no no no. I, I, I actually <laughs> had to now, you know, pull myself towards myself and say, you know what? Maybe I was not ready then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But here's a similar story. Yeah. 115. Right. Me, NT into 115. Yeah. Yes. I'm selling the course to Marco and yeah. uh, Octave. Right. Yeah. It takes me two years to play it. To play it 115. Yeah. 
and guys, for, for anybody <laughs> who has never experienced 115, yeah. I feel sorry, sorry for sorry. them, man. I yeah. feel so sorry, sorry for shame. them. Right? Yeah, I shame. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. Shame. So it, take, it takes you two years yes. to get to, to 115. Yeah, so Mokul Mokuti, you are not cool. Yes. You had nothing to do with cool. Right. You had to fucking walk a mile. Yes. So you were know? supposed to wait his turn, basically. It's mm. unchallenged. Mm. Mm. Kona ma DJ, powerful nuklala, but some commercial DJs are yes. who were, I'm sure they're still pissed off at me today. That they never caught yeah. the chance. Well, if, Brian, if Brian still remembers this, they probably remember. Well, I, well, Brian, <laughs> I think Brian got his fair chance of playing. Yes. Um, but those guys were staunch about like credibility of a DJ and the sound that the yeah. DJ carries. Yeah. Mm. It was not about your mimic DJ type. Right. Mm. It was what you got. Yes. Mm. What's different? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Young tall. So, if you're on radio and stuff, we know what you got. Right. Mm. Okay. It's only opening on Fridays. Remember? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Vinny is the first to host the side. Uh, yes. Saturday. He does the first side. The deep soul sessions, right? Deep soul mm. sessions. Right. So me and Marco, uh, we're very we're close. Yeah. And I'm like, can I do the last? Shout out to Marco and Tavi. Yeah. yeah mm. so the last Saturday. And like, it better be something special. At the time, I'm just hooked up with a friend of mine who's a, 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 a chef. Right. Uh, Frederic. Yeah. Mm. French. We are a cognac. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Province, yeah, yes. <laughs> mm? So he's been here in South Africa for some time. I actually meet him in, in Reds. Reds at Melville. Hey, Reds. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, in Melville. So I used yes. to play Reds. Yes. Trans guy. Trans guy. Trans guy. Yes, it's a trans guy. Yes. Yeah, so this is where I meet U U U Fred. You know? Trans guy in, uh, in uh, Melville. Melville. Yeah, yeah but uh, he's getting down, he's grooving. It's weird. I've always met these motherfuckers on the dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> but that's your job, man. Yeah. And like, ah, it's our. And we start talking only to realize that Fred actually works at Capitol as a show. Oh, man. <laughs> Capitol and Rufay. Yes. Okay. Rest in peace to George, man. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, um, and, okay, sharp. Cut long story short, uh, home cooking, the concept is incepted. Right. So, chef, DJ. Yes. And, like, the first party was so cool, man. Because this is why I got the name Bean. Right. In Bean, yes, yeah. yes. So, um, the flyer, <laughs> it's crazy. We make a tent table out of uh, leaves, cabbage, spinach, oh wow, okay. lettuce, and uh, baby spinach. So, what, the tent table. <laughs> right. what kind of shit are you guys smoking? So, what the oh, fuck? <laughs> there's a guy. We'll be thinking about. Terrence Terrence let's Terrence let's use vegetables yeah. to create a tent table. <laughs> so you know what we do, ne? Cabbage. We slice. We make a deck. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yes. Right? <laughs> then, the spinach is in the boundary. Mm. I'm told. It's the must bring onions like for the arm. Jesus, guys. <laughs> in that, that takes good weed, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, good weed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you'd literally walk into 115 and there's food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the party is uh, Claude. Yeah. It's Claude uh, P. Right. Buso Pumpkin. Right. Brett Brandu. Right. Clive Bean. Right. Oh. Ah. So he's all fucking around. Right. Yes. Like yeah. this because okay. that name Clive Bean came very late. Like yeah, the yeah, Bean yeah, part yeah, came yeah, very yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, it, but, two, two. but it sounds cool. So cool, man. <laughs> it sounds cool. It's Connie. even nice to call it. Call yeah, it Clive Bean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now it's got, it's like uh, Clive Bonchies. Uh, uh, Clive Bees. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, no, no, mommy, come on. You tell me Bonchies. So home cooking. And I thought it had to take offense to it. Bonchies was nice. Yeah. The white guys try too hard to say punches. It's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> punches? Like yeah. Drink, but ah. what, what, what? So that, that just became something. Did it lead to something else? Mm. Mm. The radio show. Yeah, I right. ran on Josie Maboning Radio. Remember? Right. Yes, of course. Of yeah. Course. Uh, so uh, the, the, the show, uh, Home Cooking Exclusive, it's split into three. You have uh, a starter, yes. a main course, and dessert, and a uh, cognac, or uh, you know, for the... Pair your food, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah um, Three names. Mm. I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Yeah. Right? Huh? Th this is going to be dope. Tulani the warrior. Blast them. <laughs> Blast <laughs> them, warrior. Right. Deep as fuck. Right. <laughs> so deep. Brett Jackson. Ish. Um, so can be sessions five. Right. I see a... Uh, yeah. It gets you a little emotional there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Rest uh, in peace, Brett Jackson. Yes, what did Brett man mean to you, man? Smacks him. <laughs> yeah. Ah, shit, man. He had names for everybody. Oh, man. So the motherfucker, the yeah, motherfucker. Man. I, we used to play a club here, man. We yeah. used to call it Rhino Bar. Right. It was, um, it was gas and therapy. Damn. Therapy on Friday is a gay club. Therapy on Friday, gas on Friday. And so when I meet Brett, from Zanin, Bangas Tutu, to used to have Lion New William Nicola, my restaurant in town. I born in Tano Gotashem. Jimmy comes to choose. Yeah. Ah, Tanga, them five. I'm just singing some other record. Yeah, Hillary, Stuart Hillary. Yes. Yeah, for star, Nabo. Hey, Brett, he wants to play there. It's trap, you know. And they give him therapy. So, guess it's Friday. So Brett is not the soul. Um, uh, it's there's soul funk, right? Yeah, you know, right. Singing hallelujah. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, oh, peace and all the funny colors of <laughs> pride. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I give him my whole bag. Whole bag. Remember? Right. The yeah. UDG bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, this shit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're getting like a hundred records. Right. Like, I said. Six months go do be good, then start buying from the bag. Like, oh. you know, when we order, well, I mean, yeah, I so you know order I'm tired of having to order for him, oh. yeah. You know, so you know, look, go through the bag and then on orders, look at the label and there. relate. Mm. Yeah, he killed it, oh. Jackson killed it. So, um, the time we there's truth, remember. Tru yeah. Oh, truth. Yeah. 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 So Brad is killing truth. I oh. mean, we used to play truth like crazy then. Yeah. And um, um, I introduced him to Deep House in that sense. Oh. Yeah, well, he's got his own. English. And Brad was tech, well, was deep tech, but in almost in a sort of, it's like, almost like uh, um, steaming. Right. Steaming, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's tech, right? Yeah, that's it. But Shout out so to Steaming. Steaming, man. Yeah. Love his sound, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that CD, so that CD is Brett Jackson. So that's how I met Brett Jackson. And then we go to we good friends, like mm. pot in the like fucking peas in the pot, like almost polars. We hate each other, we love each other. Um, brotherly love. Yeah. Um so then like I mean Harold gets a banana addiction, it's in soul candy. So Brett is we are in the same space, and then A and R, um, uh, he was good in A and R. Uh, like that's when So Candy was kicking was ass. Kicking ass. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you know. And then yeah, then mm. yeah. Then, then the last thing he did is with uh, me. Uh, uh, with uh, So Candy Sessions Five uh, it was me, uh, Brad, uh, Crazy White Boy, Nabo oh. Duda, uh, um, Euphonic and Harrell. Right. Uh, five CDs. Yes. Um, and yeah, he dies. In Feb, mm. Mm. motherfucker is crazy. You know what he does? So he's got bookings in April in Switzerland. Mm. Doesn't tell me. He puts me on proxy with my border. I play for him. What the fuck? I remember the launch was here in, in Rosebank, uh, 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 about in uh, Kong. Kong. That's yeah. crazy, bro. Right? When we got our 25,000. Uh, God. <laughs> he says, wow, I'll show you the pictures. Mm. He tells you that. He says, I'm out. As if he's leaving the club. Young Chol Wu Ting Shogan Jan. Sharp. Yeah, I said, yeah. That's how I get to actually do Switzerland extensively oh. after. Because you were the proxy. Because he right, made yeah. me wow. proxy of wow. four kings. And so, so he knew. Ah, come on, man. Yo, Pred Safar. Yeah. Anyway. That's Brett Jackson. Brett my digger. My, yeah. my digger nigga. Like Rest in peace, soldier. Brett Jackson, in man. Peace. What he did for the yeah. class. I, I, I got no. introduced to Brett Jackson by you. No, you better. Yeah, <laughs> you were like... Better than you were like... So, 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 bra so, so Brian, this homie here yeah. hooked me up with a song candy gig. Right. Yeah, he's like, no, man. 
Wax, come and work at Soul Candy, man. Yes, you know? yes, yes. I mean, we, I've, I've always liked him. I right. like his style. Yes. I like everything about him. But I used to him. try to get yes. everybody but to come work. Yeah, yeah but yeah, he course, was like, yeah, he was like, nah, man, you need to come, you need to come. And I'm like, okay, club, I'll do it, bro. Yeah, That's cool. man. And then he hooked it up to make sure that I got in there. Yeah. And we worked for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, with Harrell. You yeah. went. With Harrell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember you. Yeah, yeah. I was even collecting. I used to be like, I almost was like a, like a, I was part of the How cool was that, man? Uh, It was so cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, guys, we need to understand internet networking. It's, it's more powerful than an individual. My man. No lies, dog. We won. We won. That shit does not work. How are you? Yeah. Clevo, you know, last, last, well, yeah. You're, you're supposed to give him a third guy. Yeah, third person, right? Yeah, this third person. That. Third person, that last yeah. one. And I'm putting a spanner into the whole thing. <laughs> yeah? DJ Tobbs. Ow. <laughs> you know that's blood, right? Yeah. I, I, you keep telling me, so <laughs> tell us. Um, wow, wow, how? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see, you see, you see. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. What's <laughs> up, Yeah. Arena Talents. Right. Majivan. Yeah. Peter Brown. Yeah. Etin Egnap. Ah. Times. Sister Lam. I. I... Ne. Java. Java. Yo, yo. She was one of the most well dressed uh, sisters in Kaslam. Right. And so we cousin distance yeah by our fathers and we didn't know until recent but i knew and yeah, man. i used to tell you ah when i was still like hey, 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 hey. you know yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. know what about i was just like a silly one yeah um so i love her taste and I don't facilitate her taste, but she always manages to get me to listen to her That's shit. It. Like Tommy Stephanie Cook. Fighter, Stephanie Cook. I never used to like Stephanie Cook. She's like, what am I man like Stephanie Cook? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know? And She's um, a fighter. And yeah. she was she had a re- her own uh, record store, remember? Uh, yeah. Post and Post mm. So I used to supply her and yeah. and so it it's it's galactic, man. I man. fucking I knew it. So anyway, uh, years go by, years go by. We still interact, but we're not one in, in 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 understanding of you guys. Don't even know that we kind of relate. Your family, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, she's from Oslo. She kicks ass. Yeah, she's the queen of deep. I'm not asking. Right. Mm. You know, and but she's keeping it like ain't no thing. Swap. Nonchalant. Yeah. yeah. You know, I do that. Yeah. Smooth. Man. So okay, Kaslam, respect. And when I come back home. Uh, in 2021, for my birthday, she gives me a hug. I'm like, what's up? She's like, you've been saying this. So, actually, through those albums, when I went to go check, you're right. We are family. We are. I told you, motherfucker. So, what you need from me now? Since I'm here for you, <laughs> so we've been we've been tired since nice. I've been back home. We did a party called Mint yes. for uh, a series of four parties uh, as end. Right, absolutely amazing. Yes. we can it when it was right. Yeah, because when it's right is when you leave it. My man, you know. Um, nice. And um, yeah, that's that's my sister, man. Right. I didn't fucking think you'd ask that shit question, man. That Nobody's supposed that's, to that's do that. Obviously the, that's obviously the reason why that's it's the what last one. Do, man. Now is the can is open, Tobe, guys. Not my fault. Keep Brian. <laughs> shout out to DJ Top. Ta- shout out to DJ Top, man. The Love that lady, man. Top five DJs hmm. in the world for, 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 for Clive Beam. In no, in no particular order. In no particular order. I'm going to put the order. <laughs> He's already saying number one. I'm going to put number one. Well, so there's an order Mr. for you. Scruff. Mr. Scruff. Yeah, if you haven't heard him, too late. Google him. Mr. Scruff. Right. My favorite DJ at all times, anytime, any day. Mm. Like I mean, he play breakfast first. Right. Um, number two, Hendrik Schwartz. Hendrik Schwartz. Yes. Mm. Um, he's... Um, uh, a creator in the set. Right. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you, you saw him. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. 
first time you go to the moon, I think Right, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think bong. Right. <laughs> That's number two. There's an order, right? Right. Mm. Number three. I want to have what he's having, man. Bonobo. Yeah. Bonobo. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, number four, DJ Shadow. Shadow. Number Ooh. five, DJ Cubit. Cubit. Yeah. Ooh. That's like a. Listen, yeah, like people this. could say, oh, Jesse Jeff. I'm like, no, have, no, you, no. have you seen how many <laughs> fucking titles Cubit ripped as a Technics World right, Championship? Right. But you oh, are compete, man. You are winning too much. So, mentioning oh. now, speaking of, 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 of um, Cubit, right? Yes, sir. There's an argument that goes on. We're trying to wrap up now, right? Um, I read on, a, on, on social media the other day, someone was going on about. Um, you know, for you to be a DJ, uh, you know, you need to understand your equipment. But for for them, they felt a certain level of know the music more than you know the equipment. Okay. And I could be wrong to ever that posted it. I, I I commented on the post. Right. Um, and I like such posts. You know, we need to invoke. Yes. Uh, and start to pay. Challenge people, right? Uh, mm. But it, uh, it needs to have impact and result. Mm -hmm. You know, something that has a footprint. So uh, I think the question was based on the the robotic DJs, mm -hmm. of which is a fact. Mm. Some DJs are so technical they forgot the music, mm. you know. And then you have the aloof DJs. Yeah, mm. they forgot the technique. They mm. just play, and music. they're so boring mm. <laughs> because there's no challenge flow. Mm -hmm. So you can't do without the other and not with. Mm. Like it, it's a, it needs to be a perfect part. So the one feeds into the know? other one, yeah. right? But then I could also throw it as a paraphrase like this. A chef has ingredients, mm -hmm. paraphrase, music. Right. For a DJ. Right. And then a chef has a stove and pot. Yeah. Paraphrase. Equipment right. for DJs. So when have you seen a chef who knows food but doesn't know how to use a gas stove? Mm. So that point and post could be mis like misunderstood. It could also be misinformation if mm. you don't digest it well. Mm. You know, so it's not misinformation. Right. However, truth of the matter is, it's slanted on left instead of being in the center. Mm. If right is equipment okay. and left is music. Uh, what's the future for Clive Bean? Yes, this is the question that I'm I wish here I for. knew the answer for that. However, mm. however, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know Brian, I this chasing gum, listen to him, but there's what today's pity. Yes, I'm listening. So, uh, on Facebook, this, this guy posted this something so cool, right? Yeah, he says. Uh, Akiru Clever, name any type of air. Wow. <laughs> you know what I said? Yeah. Emma <laughs> Billy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, man. Emma Billy. Yeah. Oh, my God. As far as I'm concerned. That's it. I'm yeah. bonding. <laughs> um, <laughs> the future, man. Aish. I mean, I just maga barlek of it. I need to do something for the East, man. Yeah. Um, and I'm not gonna say we need to do something for the East. I'm the, I'm from the East. I, right. I, I, I know the East. Um, for Slora's manhood, uh, like a Funda Center. Yes. You know? uh, that's that's um my wish and God granted. Uh, uh, I would like to open up a recreational center that is based on music in terms of. Uh, uh, Ukuli, see recreation ukuli mm. if, if we didn't know, mm. you know, um, you know, um, I saw on face, uh, uh, not on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, fuck, I can't remember what was this program called, but in in in, in Detroit, Amityville, it's called Amityville. Yeah. So Amityville, uh, it's like a uh, crash slash after daycare center, mm. yeah, mm. Mm. but I could focus on sports, but focus on music. Buy our shama homework and everything else. Yeah. But they are now tailoring this kid into solving problem, solving problem in the music. So solve a pro yeah, solve uh, problem, yeah. Problem solving, music. yeah. Yeah. So well, math is, mm. uh, math is applied, mm. is then solve the problem, mm. right? Sure. So now they take kids from like ages six 
to like let's say 18. So that's literally a curriculum in school, right. primary and high school. Yeah. Right? So, so what the program or that institution or the, the, the whatever you want to call it as a tool does is it cultivates um, a kid's um, uh, EQ. Mm. So, so what's EQ? Uh, EQ is compassion, uh, feel. It works with the emotions, right? It's emotion. Right. Mm. It's emotional mm. coercion. It's right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Intellectual In coercion. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with the nerd. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we also need to understand which when you cultivate the um, aspect, the culture, your creativity. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You are making him whole because we are. Know. Remember, we are creatives. So right. Yeah. We yeah, yeah, creators, yeah so we are procreators. That's why I'm going to talk procreation. Right. Mm. Procreation. Mm. You know? Mm. Mm. So mm. now we are creatives. Yeah. yeah. So when you are creative, you are in a godly mode. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sharp. So that's why recreation is important. But empathy, uh, feel. You know, the heart is amazing, man. Because mm. it helps us every little thing. That is based on the physical and the spiritual sense. Yeah, mm. you know? harbors it, right? EQ. Mm. 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 Conscious, concise, mm. sharp. Now, cultivation of that needs an, a, a center like mm. So that's me. You know, I'm not EQ based. Mm. Mm. Interconnection. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking for a mathematician. Mm. I'm looking for someone who will develop his friend. Mm. Mm. That's it. Sharp. So that's EQ. You know, and then there's a nice one that has to do with social. It's mm. SQ. Mm. Social coercion. Right. Charisma. Mm. How long you keep your friends? Mm. How do you run a spectrum of judgment to your friends? Mm. 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 The last one, it has an adversary. Coercion, AQ, uh, people who don't have a fighting spirit, mm. never say die. Mm. When you're DJ Crooks, AQ, remember DJ Crooks? DJ when Crooks. AQ Shout is low, Crooks. depression and suicide. So, how do you build that? You know, when you got a boy, you let him fall, you let him trip, you let him scratch, and you, mm. you don't balance him when mm. he has to fall. When you got a kid, you let him get sick, mm. man. That's how the immune system gets strong. stronger. Uh, yeah, that's true. So you protect, you spoil. Mm. See, you make a weak link. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So that's a Q. Mm. Balance those three. Leave that IQ for your high school fees you pay mm. there. <laughs> mm. yeah. But, but get those you intact, concentrate right? on those. That's us. Right. That's us, Rasta. You know? Nice so, now the last three, they are community based. It's like almost a socialist kind of memorandum or constitution. Mm. Mm. So, interconnection, development, it ran delay to la ezo, la malpu, malpu, so good 25 cent type vibe. Mm. Yeah? Right. You get what I say? Yeah. Nobody's unemployed. But nobody's employed, but nobody hungry. Yeah? And yet there's a, there's a cent that's, recu that's it's circulating. It's circulating. Right. That's why money no, doesn't leave those Jewish communities. Yeah, you black see nothing. Hmm. Speak, speak, fireman. So that's what I'm talking about. So that's, uh, that, that's me, man. Right. That's my, f that's, that's if I say I, and I can't dictate, if I say I would have it my way. But that's what you're working towards, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes I like yes, that. Yes, I like that. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, but I mean, uh, Wex knows, uh, the DJ in the about, oh. you know, uh, we were talking earlier about like, oh. these are very the important for us. Shout out yeah. to you guys for yeah, your yeah, big shout out, big shout out, big shout out. It's available in, yeah. on, on YouTube. And big yeah. woohoo to those who didn't come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, oh, you know, like us. Let no, me tell you. Let no, me tell we're no, you. we're not diplomatic. No, no, We also did, we did interviews with Clive and, and Clive was teaching all the, the, the guys that came through. I mean, it was a nice support. The DJs did come out, you yeah. know. It was nice and Clive was... Uh, like you can see Namanjo would see how clear he is when he mm -hmm. speaks, which it was really dope. But let me tell you what happened when I live. So we interviewed some of the guys who were there on the side. After we interviewed you guys, we yes. were speakers, right? We interviewed some of the DJs, NJ, random DJs, right? Mm. And then we speak to guess who? Kelvin Momo. Yeah. Mm. 
Kevin Momo is, was at Soweto TJ's in Daba. Kevin Momo, we interviewed him. We spoke to him to say, no, what do you think about Indaba and all that? We spoke to him. And I was with Patrao, which Patrao, he's the one who saw while we were watching the, 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 the videos on mm. YouTube. He says, hey, Wex, Kevin That's Momo Kevin was Momo. was on DJs in Daba. I rewind this shit. I'm like, oh, so you see, like that boy was there when he was a nobody. Mm. Look and at him now. To man. listen to guys like you. So he probably took a lot of shit that you said to heart. Nigga, now he, that boy is far. When you plant with your seed, you don't know what tree is going to come out. The food, the soil might contribute. Maybe by the wayside might contribute. They say if you're a stupid man, you, you plant your orange tree on the wayside and mm. you attract uh, scavengers. Mm. 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 Then you fertile soil. level. But you don't know. I'm going to show you a lot later. Mm. Yeah. As you are saying, you yeah. know. Yeah. Hence yeah. I say like, no, man. It's not about numbers. You know, it's quality over quantity. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. Hit yeah. 10, not a thousand. Because mm. essence of 10 can ripple into a uh, hundred and hundred into a thousand, thousand, ten thousand. It's a ripple, man. It's exponential. Yeah? Is so that how you'd like to be remembered? Well, you talk as if I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, 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 uh, so okay, let me rephrase, I would like let me be, rephrase uh, it. I would like to be remembered as a guy who reminded us of who we're supposed to be. Right. Okay, yeah, but that one is, okay, that's a good answer, but really, like, no, but if, you were, if you were to really answer it as Clive being. I would like to be remembered as a guy who turned the number. So we not put the modesty, man. Come on, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the what way. Are you yeah. asking? No, 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 we definitely would no like it, 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 it's a simple question, even. I think maybe it's a bit too simple for you because you know you are far ahead mentally for you know us laymen. Us, us, for the ordinary yeah, people, but we're yeah. trying to pull you down so that you, you, oh, yeah. you guy who fought for justice. Come back to, come come back to where you guy yeah. who fought for justice. Yeah. Guy who fought for justice. But when you already will span a person can yeah. I'm told I'm not gonna mention him. Yeah. And there was a time where I knew for at least like four years, I sang in increased salary. The salary, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Of course, uh, uh, a there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get into trouble for that shit. Yeah. Oh, you tell the you tell everyone. Well, like, he yeah, used I to call himself the black sheep I of speak, the family. I speak fucking truth to power. Mm. What is power with no truth? So yeah, that's yeah. if you wanna remember me, remember me for that. They're like fuck, man, you know. Even my students know, all of them, all of them. Every, a, anyone who's been in my workshop, in my class, and in my interaction for whatsoever, you know, motherfuckers be like, yeah, you think you know. I'm like, what if I do know? Oh. Or you don't want to hear anyone. I'm like, what if you're not listening? Oh. Remember, if you want me to hear you, you have to listen first. Mm. Yes, two ears, one mouth. That oh. simply means you listen twice, twice as much as you speak. Uh. Yeah, man. Clive Bean. Yes, sir. We can go on for, for the easy. whole day. Like, for me. I like this view, man. Yeah, man. Yes, man. You are um, <laughs> an absolute legend. You have taught so many of us to stand up when things. Don't start give to up the fight. Right? <laughs> And you had always been that, even when we were still working at the shop, when yes, there was an injustice, you'd always been, he was always that guy to say, guys, we can't accept this. This guy hooked me up, man. And, never forget that you shit. know, I, I, I appreciate you, my brother. <laughs> and boy. I appreciate what you've done for the culture. Yes. I appreciate what everything that you've done. And I wish you nothing but the best for the future. I appreciate, we appreciate that you every guys. time on Saturday when we were drunk, you would <laughs> hold the <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much for coming here, man. Thank you for for, for hanging oh, out man. with us. I think you, you know. I, I think you need to come back because I think there's there's more stories that you yeah, need to share, man. Lot, you know. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through, Clive Bean, man. Guys, I think uh, and we're going to see man. you very soon, man. Yeah. You, yeah, man. And uh, I, I say this: uh, uh, enough love, respect. Yeah, I, I've watched from the first one. I told yeah, you, yeah, Zaga yeah, Zaga. Yeah. Yeah. You know, me. I don't like making noise. Yeah. I follow the shit, and and. QT, Mbuso. I was still need to see Crooks. Eh? Yeah. yeah go Watch it. It's very <laughs> dope. So very I know dope. it is. <laughs> yeah. That shit is cool. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, man. 
So g- keep on doing what you do, you know. Uh, you know, it's, this, this culture is quite important for us to tell the story of it. I think we're the torch bearers, yeah. you know. And we're not a dying breed. Ain't nothing dying here. Yeah. Ain't, no, ain't no shit dying. Yeah. Yeah. You know.